I'd like to look at friends and groups within Mahara. So I'm going to click on the Mahara link and here we go. So here's friends and here's groups. So first of all, I would like to find somebody, find a friend. Now all these people here um, are all people with Mahara accounts. In fact, all staff and students have Mahara accounts. I'm going to look for Beth who is here and I'm going to send her a friendship request. So I'm simply just going to click here and just ask her to uh, include me in her friend, friend list. And then just hit request friendship. So she'll receive that if she wants to include me as one of her friends, then she'll, she'll give me that permission. Otherwise, um, otherwise I, I won't, I, I won't be able to do that. You can see here it's saying that, uh, that a friendship request has been sent. So that's friends. Um, you can see if I click my friends, these are, these are currently the people who are my friends and I'd now like to look at groups. So some of these groups are invitation only, which means that you're invited by the person who set it up. You can't request to be part of that group. However, some are open groups and they allow you to join them. So I'm just going to request to join this group here. So there's, that's, I, I've just sort of added that to the text box um, and now I'm just going to hit the request button. So that again has now been sent to Beth uh, and if she's happy for me to join the group then great. Um, these are currently the groups that I'm part of. If I click on my groups you can see I in fact you've requested to join this group. So this is still being evaluated by Beth. Um, whereas you can see that I'm part of Milan. This is this is a group that I've set up, e-learning and teaching. And then this again is another group that I'm part of, which is the A2 Physics, Physics group. Okay, so that is an overview of friends and groups within Mahara.